bar is in the state of Texas, the county of Hidalgo. We are literally at the Texas-Mexican border and we are a very robust community. But everybody's really tight. Everybody knows their neighbors, everybody knows their, their children in school or uh, they're in little league together, football. City Far owns its own international bridge. It is a commercial bridge as opposed to one where automobiles or people cross. There's 28 along the Texas-Mexican border and we're the number one produce uh, bridge. We actually feed the East Coast and the Midwest with all its fruits and vegetables. The city of Far, unfortunately, we are the number one city in the nation with the least digital infrastructure. We are the worst in the nation. So you have people trying to put networks on buses, having our children run to the library or pirate off a signal from somebody else just to get their homework done. And we see it's such a high priority for us is that we consider it as part of a normal utility, an absolute necessity. You need water, electricity, the same way you need broadband. You know, we had to provide a service that is uh, accessible to all families here within our city limits because again, uh, we are a very low income area and uh, wanted to make everything affordable and uh, reliable to everybody. So the city of FAR has been very aggressive and said, we're gonna deploy a broadband network. We're gonna own that network so we can determine what we charge for that network. The city's taking it upon themselves because they couldn't get it anywhere else. They're going to do it. And to do that, it took partnerships, and that's the key. We learned early on that in order to accomplish what we had set out, the city could not do it on its own. We needed to make sure we went to every vendor who had the expertise to bring everything together. And that's been great bar for us. As our supply chain manager of the project, they have made sure that we have every part that is involved within the supply chain on hand. And we have, would not have been able to do that without Great Bar. It was kind of a simultaneous set of conversations where I'm right away engaged with the city of FAR and their IT team, Brownstone, their consultant, you know, Cobb Finley, their engineering group, and understanding kind of their idea of a spec. And at the end of the day, with customers and suppliers both, it's all, it's all about trust. It's building those relationships. It's really at the part of what we do. We have uh, accomplished so far a very small percentage of the totality of the project. We did lit the first house yesterday, but we still need to do another three or 400 neighborhoods. So uh, this next year uh, will be a challenge, but again, with the partners that we have, I'm fully confident that we will execute as mandated too. We're very excited and worked very hard to get our first home online. You know, it was great to see this project come to fruition, be able to deliver this service to, to a home that very much needed it. We want to be able to deliver the exact same service all throughout the city. So today's an incredibly exciting day, you know, with the leadership of FAR announcing their um, fiber optic build. What's really great about what the leadership of FAR has done is that they're able to be able to leverage and lean on their partners to be able to get it done right. I think it's going to be just transformative to this whole community. Local businesses will now compete on a global scale. There'll be new revenue. The median income will rise in FAR. FAR has a bridge. You look at it in their logo. That is one of the biggest international bridges in the United States. Now we have a new bridge. We have a technological bridge, and that is fiber optic and broadband. 